Hi, it's Jeff here from VIP Vision, and in this video, I'm going to be giving you a brief overview of the VIP Vision motorized very focal IP network surveillance cameras. Now, VIP Vision offer these cameras in both of our ranges, so our professional series range and our ultimate series range. Essentially, the functions are the same, so they allow you to mount a camera and rather than zooming and focusing a very focal when you're up a ladder in an inconvenient manner using a test monitor, you can actually simply point the cameras to where it is you want them to be, roughly, so eye them in, and then come back to your, your head end, back to your NVR, network video recorder, and adjust them from that point. So just to give you a, a brief introduction here, so these are the professional series uh, cameras in the range. So at the moment we have a four megapixel um, motorized dome camera, motorized very focal dome, and a four megapixel motorized very focal bullet camera. And in the ultimate series range, we have an eight megapixel and a 12 megapixel uh, motorized very focal dome in addition to a two megapixel low light camera, and we have the same in the ultimate series bullets. So the major difference, well, there's, there's three different ways that you can adjust the very focal or the, the focal length and focus on these cameras. Uh, the first one is to adjust it using the network video recorder, which I'll show you in a moment. The second way is to adjust it using the web interface of the network video recorder. And the third way on our ultimate series cameras is to adjust them using the buttons, the um, wide and telephoto buttons on the cameras. So I'll just show you those briefly. I'll just flip across to a different camera here so you can see them more clearly. So on the dome cameras, on our ultimate series dome cameras, you can see you've got your, your wide and telephoto buttons there. So obviously, push the wide button to zoom the camera out, push the telephoto button to zoom the camera in, and it will autofocus after your release. Now on the bullet cameras, it's a similar scenario, except rather than being under the dome as it is in the dome cameras, it's located under a flap. So the flap on the bottom of the camera here, next to the test monitor point. So you've got your test monitor point here. If you can see that there. Um, you can see closer to there, we've got our wide, and our telephoto buttons. So again, zoom in and out using these buttons and it will autofocus after you finish zooming. So in this video though, I, I actually want to show you using the network video recorder how to zoom in and out. So I've got another camera set up here, so I'll switch across to that now. So this is a, this is a motorized four megapixel um, very focal camera. And this is a dome camera. This one's set up and it's currently in its widest position. Now, it is focused um, because it's, it's been auto-focused. Note that once you've mounted your camera, it may not be focused depending uh, you know, on the state that it left the factory and um, how you've mounted the camera. But that's no problem because we're gonna auto-focus it anyway. So the first thing that I need to do, let's assume that I've, I've mounted the camera and this is roughly where, where I want it to be. So I've centered, I've centered the camera on the objects that I'm looking to zoom in on, or I'm looking to, to have as being the, the focal point of my shot. Um, now, what I might want to do from here is zoom that in a little. Since it's, it's in focus, but I want to zoom it in a bit so that I see a bit more detail. I'm not so much interested in seeing out the edges here. I really want to see these plush toys in the middle. So that's where I'm going to focus. So the first thing I need to do is right click. Now you'll see down this list, this is actually an eight channel uh, professional series video recorder. You may see slightly different things in this menu depending on the recorder you're trying it with, but in this case, you'll always have autofocus. So autofocus is what we're gonna click. Now, you'll very likely need to log in depending on uh, how you've got your rights set up your, uh, on your recorder. So this is a patent password here. I could log in with my patent password. You can also log in with your patent password if your NVR has that set up. However, if you don't, you can always log in with your regular password. So admin123 is my password at the moment. And I'm going to select OK. Now you'll see that's brought up our autofocus menu. Now it's fairly self-explanatory. So the top section here is zoom and I have a scroll bar for zoom. And the second section here is focus. Um, Note that you, you probably won't need to adjust focus if the autofocus works fine for you. So we're really just gonna be playing with zoom here. 
and speed. So this is, this is how quickly it's going to zoom in and out. I wouldn't worry about touching that too much, just leave it how it is. That's going to change what it does when you step focus. So I can either zoom in a little bit at a time by pushing the plus icon here and waiting for the autofocus. And I can do it again. So see how we're, we're just edging in slightly here every time I push the button and we're auto-focusing each time. So rather than that, I'm going to show you zooming in the whole way so that I, I can just show you what this camera is capable of. So I'll zoom back out to start off with. So this, is, this camera is at, um, I believe it's a 2.8 millimeter at its widest or possibly 2.7 millimeter lens at its widest. So you can see that it's very close to 90 degrees, probably about, well, maybe about 80 degrees there. Now, I can zoom that in. So I click and hold the scroll bar and I move it all the way across to plus and I'm gonna release the button. Now, I'm gonna, my camera's gonna zoom in the whole way and it's gonna start to autofocus. And once the cursor is finished down there, now you can see we're zoomed in the whole way and it's autofocused correctly and you can see the plush toys. So if I want to, I can just right click to close that menu and there you go, I'm, I'm zoomed in, everything's done. That's all I have to do. I don't have to fiddle around with dodgy set screws on lenses or anything like that. I simply mount the camera, point it to roughly where I want it to see, eye it in, and then zoom and focus the camera back from the recorder. Just to show you that one more time, so right click, auto focus, and I'll zoom, I'll zoom out to halfway. And there you go, autofocus is finished again. Now, let's assume that that wasn't in focus. Um, I can simply drag the little focus slider down here. Okay, so that's out of focus. Now I can, I can try and get it back into focus just by adjusting it slowly until I find my focus point. A little bit more. Oh, gone slightly too far, sit back a little bit. Now, once you get to this point, you may want to reduce the speed slightly. So if I reduce the speed to one and I step, there you go. So now it's actually autofocus for me when I've done that, but, but you get the point. I can, adjust, I can adjust the focus through this little slider down the bottom here. Now, um, one thing that's, that's worth noting, so I'll just jump, jump back out of here now. One thing that's worth noting is these cameras are, are zoom cameras, so, or very focal zoom cameras. So don't expect that they're going to pan or tilt. They're only really designed to zoom in on an object. So you're going to eye in the camera, get it roughly where you're expecting it to go, and then you're going to zoom it in and out from your recorder. You could also do this using a... a um, products such as the VS Test 100 that the VIP Vision sell, um, which is a, a test monitor which has an IP input. You could do the same thing and Ethernet in. Um, but yeah, essentially these are these are these are there to help you install these cameras more quickly without having to fiddle around with with you know annoying annoying set screws and dropping tools and things when you're up the ladder. Um, the other thing to probably, you might want to note with these cameras, you might probably saw, um, if I jump back here, jump back into the NVR again. So if I go back to autofocus, now take note that it takes a little while to focus. Now the Ultimate Series cameras are quite a bit quicker in this regard, but this is not what you'd call something that's designed for, um, it's not designed so that you do this, or you you know, you can do this while you're watching it live, but it's not really designed to that. It's not designed for, oh, you know, I just saw someone try and pocket something, let me zoom in on the shot. Um, these are uh, almost exclusively designed as an install, installation aid. Um, so just keep that in mind. While you can do this after the fact and your customer can do this by themselves, uh, just keep that in mind. This isn't a pan tilt zoom camera. It doesn't have phase detection, autofocus or anything like that. We're just doing it off contrast. So um, if you're looking for that sort of really ultra fast zoom and um, you know obviously the pan and tilt aspects that approach and you know that, that go along with that you really want a pan tilt zoom camera 
So uh, yeah, I hope that this has been helpful. Um, again, we've gone over our the VIP vision range of very focal motorized cameras with their buttons down the bottom for autofocusing, the Ultimate Series and the Professional Series, which can be adjusted via the web interface or via the app. And uh, yeah, I hope that's been helpful. If you have any other questions or queries about this video or any of the other videos, please feel free to leave a comment below. Uh, otherwise, if, yeah, subscribe to our, our channel and we'll be feeding more and more of these videos out. Uh, and it's, yeah, my name's Jeff and I hope this has been helpful. Thanks.